when you want to break a nation's development, you destroy two things as far as its population is concerned. You destroy their self-confidence and their self-respect. And you tell them that you can't do it. We are superior. So the self-confidence is destroyed. And then you are useless. So your self-respect is destroyed. Now, in India, people of your generation, Ms. Naik, we see this burgeoning self-confidence. I mean, you are interviewing me. Let me ask you, do you think you are inferior in any way to a Brit or a German or an American in terms of intellectual ability? Somebody your age? I mean, how come Indians head the biggest corporations? They have the highest per capita in the United States. They are sought after everywhere because of our intellectual capability. The Y2K bug, they were running to India. There's this story about a fellow going to ask for uh, money from a hedge fund for some startup many years ago in America. They said, fine, fine, fine. You know, we've heard it. What you have to say, we're not interested. Let's sign on the dotted line. Here's $100 million. When he signed, they said, wait, wait, wait. This says Murphy. We thought your name was Murthy. We were going to give you the money if you're an Indian, not if you're an American. It was a bit of a joke at that time. People said, you know, that was a respect. Hundreds of thousands of Indians went all over the world to deal with the Y2K bug. They understand our intellectual capability. And I don't want to boast, but one of my principals in Africa, there was something that happened and I suggested to him that the best way to deal with it would be as, as follows, and he did. And when I went back some months later, he said, well, you know, Ambassador, what you told me I did. And uh, the issue got resolved. So I said, well, Your Excellency, I'm grateful that it got done. And, and thank you for listening to what I said, although I wasn't sure because I didn't know anything about this. Subject. And as I was leaving, he said, come back. What did you say? You didn't know anything about it. Then Ambassador Deepak, he asked me, grinning, are you God? And I said, no, sir, I'm an, Ind I'm an Indian. That's the next best thing. So he smiled from year to year. He says, you have an answer for everything. He says, you ask me, I'm telling you. So my message to all people who are watching, and millions and millions watch uh, City, you know, because you've become an international phenomenon now. And what, they, what I want to tell them, particularly the young Indians of your generation, look, I'm 71 years young. My time is over. You have to take this forward. You know, you have to move ahead with self-confidence and self-respect. That's what Prime Minister Narendra Modi, whether you like him or not, this is what he keeps saying. That today we have that. We have that janoon. We have that jazba. We have that enthusiasm. We have that passion to do what we Without passion, you can't do anything. So all this talk about, I've been hearing it since I was a child, we'll build a new India, etc. Et today we are seeing it happen. People's movement. Ma'am, you're a, you're a girl. We had a dismal gender ratio till this fellow came around and said, Beti, beti bachao, beti parhao. Now the latest figures show us that for every uh, 1,000 males in India, we're not talking about gender ratio at birth, but for every 1,000 males, we have 1,020 females. And our population growth rate has stabilized at around 2.05 or 2.1. That's what is called the total fertility rate, your replacement rate for the population. We've seen what is happening to Swachh Bharat. We've seen what is happening to Har Ghar Mein Nal, Har Nal Mein Jal. We are seeing what happened to Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana and 300 million bank accounts open. But people tell me, but your population is 1.3 billion. I said, which country does a newborn baby have a bank account? It's the number of families that we've opened bank accounts for. And Surya Urja, solar energy, in my own home in the nation's capital, most of our food is cooked on solar energy and it's delicious. We have a solar cooker. It saves our bills. My gas fellows who supply pipe gas, they came and said, sir, but your gas thing hasn't moved at all the meter. How come <laughs> you live here? We know you're all here. So yeah, that's my solar cooker. So that's what we are doing. It's an economic advantage to us to do it. And we've just booked our first solar car, um, our uh, electric car. Hopefully it will be here by the end of the year because it's non-polluting and it's unimaginably cheap to use. So once you have this self-confidence and you have this self-respect, because ma'am, you know, when we talk of developed nations, I've traveled across the world, United States, Canada, Australia, Japan, Europe. Who developed those fellows? Wasn't chaps from Mars. Nobody came down from the moon. Nobody came from under the oceans. It was those chaps themselves. And since we are superior to them in every which way, we can do it too. That's my message to the young people. 
go for it. We can do it. Very beautifully put, so. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad, Namaskar.